by Connor Sefton, news reporter Belize's highest volcano is showing greater than ever seismic activity with hundreds of tremors recorded daily, authorities have said, signaling that eruption could be imminent. Clouds have shrouded the top of Mount Agung, which is now said to have entered a critical phase as seismic activity increases. More than 75,000 people have fled the surrounding area, and a 7.5-mile 12-kilometers exclusion zone has been established around the volcano. The Indonesian National Disaster Agency BNPB said there had been more than 560 deep volcanic earthquakes recorded on Monday alone. In a statement on its website it said an increase in the frequency of the tremors indicated magma was moving towards the surface, and that the number of earthquake events is greater than ever. Image many Indonesians live close to volcanoes, because lava flows can make soil fertile officers are scouring the area, urging those yet to leave not to underestimate the risk of staying behind. When Mount Agung last erupted in 1963, more than 1,100 people were killed, and several settlements were destroyed. Evacuees are now living in temporary shelters, sports centers, village halls and with friends or family, but some have been returning to the danger zone during the day to tend to their livestock. The disaster agency's spokesman, Sutopo Perwonagroho, said evacuees have been spread across more than 370 locations on the island, and their numbers are continuing to rise. Image officials have been at pains to assure tourists that Bali remains safe although officials have stressed that there is no immediate danger to tourists, a significant eruption would force Ballas International Airport to close, stranding thousands. British holidaymakers are being warned that volcanic ash clouds could cause flight disruption and travel warnings have also been issued by the US, Singapore, and Australia. Nearly 5 million people visited Bali in 2016. While most come from Australia, China, and Japan, an estimated 330,000 Britons also travel to Indonesia every year. Image A 7.5-mile 12km exclusion zone is in force around Mount Agung Indonesia's disaster agency has dispatched 640,000 face masks, 12,500 mattresses, 8,400 blankets and 50 tents to vulnerable areas, with vehicles filled with mineral water and instant noodles sent to evacuation centers. The country's central government has set aside a relief fund of nearly $150 million $111 million pounds in the event of an eruption. Indonesia sits on the Sokolt Pacific Ring of Fire and has close to 130 active volcanoes more than any other country. Many Indonesians live close to volcanoes because the lava flows can make the surrounding land and soil fertile for farming, 